the last key concept of this uh, assignment 7.3 is allowance. Allowance is the intentionally set difference between mating parts. If you look at this flag, you're going to notice that it has a flagpole and it has a flange. The hole in the flange is obviously has to be bigger than the shaft or else you're not going to be able to put it in. The diameter of that hole and the difference between that and the shaft diameter is what is called allowance. Let me show you um, an example using some, using some holes that uh, hopefully will show you a little bit better. If you look at this piece of wood, there's a hole here in the board. So the hole, if I have a shaft, and I'm going to use a drill bit to kind of demonstrate this, but if you look, this drill bit is actually smaller than the hole. It kind of wiggles around. That space in between the diameter of this shaft and the diameter of that hole, that is what allowance is. That's a clearance allowance. I also can have, and again, I'm using a drill bit, but if you look at this drill bit, it doesn't fit in the hole. That would make it, and it's exaggerated so that you can see what's going on, but the hole is this size. The diameter of the drill bit is this size. It's allowance for an interference fit this diameter is obviously going to be bigger than this hole. Obviously, I can't get it in there, but in order to see the difference, I wanted to show you this, because in order to do an interference fit, that hole and the shaft are going to be pretty close in size. But the difference in diameter of this hole and the diameter of this shaft would be an interference allowance. The difference between the, this diameter of this shaft and the hole is... This would be a clearance fit, and that would be a clearance allowance. So that's going to be kind of important when you, to understand when you do this assignment. So let's go back to here to allowance, and then let's, let's talk a little bit about um, how all that's going to work in our next video.